Hi, welcome to Dr. Vic's Academy. Today we will be talking about urinary retention. Definition. Urinary retention is the inability to voluntarily urinate. Acute urinary retention is the sudden and often painful inability to void despite having a full bladder. Chronic urinary retention is painless retention associated with an increased volume of residual urine. Patients with urinary retention can present with complete lack of voiding, incomplete bladder emptying, or overflow incontinence. Complications include infection and renal failure. Causes of urinary retention Obstructive Obstruction of the lower urinary tract at or distal to the bladder neck can cause urinary retention. The obstruction may be intrinsic or extrinsic. The most common obstructive cause is benign prostatic hyperplasia. Other obstructive causes of urinary retention in men include prostate cancer, phimosis, paraphimosis, and external constricting devices applied to the penis. Obstructive causes in women often involve pelvic organ prolapse such as cystocell or ectocell. Urinary retention can also result from external compression of the bladder neck from uterine prolapse and benign or malignant pelvic masses. In men and women, urethral strictures, stones, and foreign bodies can directly block the flow of urine. Fecal impaction and gastrointestinal or retroperitoneal masses large enough to cause extrinsic bladder neck compression can result in urinary retention. Urinary retention from bladder tumors is usually caused by blood clots from intravesicular bleeding. Infectious and inflammatory. The most common cause of infectious acute urinary retention is acute prostatitis. Urethritis from a urinary tract infection or sexually transmitted infection can cause urethral edema with resultant urinary retention. In women, painful vulvovaginal lesions and vulvovaginitis can cause urethral edema, as well as painful urination, which also results in urinary retention. Pharmacologic Medications with anticholinergic properties cause urinary retention by decreasing blood detritus or muscle contraction. Symptomatic drugs such as oral decongestants cause urinary retention by increasing alpha adrenogectone in the prostate and bladder neck. Neurologic Neurogenic or neuropathic bladder is defined as any defective functioning of the bladder caused by impaired innervation. Urinary retention from neurologic causes occurs equally in men and women. Although most patients with neurogenic bladder will experience incontinence, a significant number might also have urinary retention. Patients who have suffered a stroke may experience urinary retention, primarily because of detrusive hypoflexia. Patients with diabetes mellitus and patients with diabetic peripheral neuropathy may experience bladder dysfunction which is likely to include urinary retention, disc herniation, spinal trauma, and cord compression from benign or malignant tumors may cause urinary retention through interruption of spinal pathways. Other causes Postoperative complications Pain, traumatic instrumentation, bladder over-distension, and pharmacologic agents, particularly opioid narcotics, are all thought to play a role. After rectal surgery, patients may experience urinary retention. Patients who have had total hip arthroplasty and patients who have had outpatient gynecologic surgery may develop urinary retention. Pregnancy associated urinary retention. Urinary retention during pregnancy is usually the result of an impacted, retroverted uterus that causes obstruction of the internal urethral metus most often at 16 weeks gestation. Trauma. Acute injury to the urethra, penis, or bladder may cause urinary retention. Blood rupture and urethral disruption can occur with pelvic fracture or traumatic instrumentation. Benign prostatic hyperplasia. A common presentation of urinary retention is bladder outlet obstruction caused by BPH. The physician should inquire about precipitating factors, including alcohol consumption, recent surgery, UTI, 
genitourinary instrumentation, constipation, large fluid intake, cold exposure, and prolonged travel. A detailed medication history should be obtained for prescribed and over-the-counter medications, with special attention to those that are known to cause urinary retention. Abdominal examination should include percussion and palpation of the bladder. A rectal examination should be performed to estimate prostate size and to check for prostate nodules and fecal impaction. A urinalysis should be done to evaluate for possible infection. If the diagnosis remains in doubt, residual urine can be accurately measured by bladder ultrasonography or catheterization. Neurogenic bladder Patients can present with overflow incontinence or a current UTI. A history of neurologic disease, spinal trauma or tumor, diabetes, and any change in baseline neurologic status should be carefully noted. Patients with suspected neurogenic bladder should undergo a general neurologic examination, as well as specific examinations related to bladder function. These include the bulbar cavernosus reflex, anal reflex, voluntary contractions of the pelvic floor, anal sphincter tone, and sensation in the S2 to S5. Dermatomal distribution, which is in the perianal and saddle area. Imaging studies looking for tumors or other lesions in the brain and spinal cord may also be necessary. Once neurogenic bladder is diagnosed, the patient should be referred for urodynamic testing to guide ongoing management. Initial management of urinary retention. Acute urinary retention should be managed by immediate and complete decompression of the bladder through catheterization. Hematuria, hypertension, and post-obstructive diuresis are potential complications of rapid decompression. However, there is no evidence that gradual bladder decompression will decrease these complications. Rapid and complete emptying of the bladder is therefore recommended. In patients with known or suspected BPH, the optimal amount of time to leave a catheter in place is unknown. Up to 70% of men will have recurrent urinary retention within one week if the bladder is simply drained. Men with BPH have a greater chance of a successful voiding trial without a catheter at 2 to 3 days if they are treated with alpha adrenergic blockers for 3 days starting at the time of catheter insertion. Prevention of acute urinary retention in BPH may be achieved by long-term treatment with 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. Patients with chronic urinary retention, especially those with neurogenic bladder, should be able to manage their condition with clean, intermittent self-catheterization. This technique is considered first-line treatment for managing urinary retention caused by neurogenic bladder and can reduce complications, such as renal failure, upper urinary tract deterioration, and urosepsis. In summary, Urinary retention is the inability to voluntarily void urine. This condition can be acute or chronic. Causes of urinary retention are numerous and can be classified as obstructive, infectious and inflammatory, pharmacologic, neurologic, or other. The most common cause of urinary retention is benign prostatic hyperplasia. Initial management includes bladder catheterization with prompt and complex decompression. Definitive management of urinary retention will depend on the etiology and may include surgical and medical treatments. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle